Hello friends, this is day 69 and this is called A Legacy of Faith. Once again in Joshua, we see in chapter 14, 8 and 9, that Joshua reminds the congregation of Israel about what happened at Kadesh Barnea with the 12 spies. He reminds them that he was one of those spies as well, him and Caleb, and that uh, when they came into the land, that God granted his family specifically, in addition to all of the grants of land that went to the tribes, but his family specifically and Caleb's family specifically, um, specific land, an inheritance for his family uh, because of their faith. Now, how does this, where, where, how do we take this to mean a, a legacy of faith? Well, Caleb, when the land was granted, Caleb very quickly at the age of like 85, he goes and he goes and takes that land and passes it on to his children. But he was able to use that um, amongst, I guess, you know, other things as well, to pass on not just the land, but the legacy of faith, something that he passes on to his children. As a matter of fact, when it came time for Israel to be delivered by these series of judges periodically um, throughout that next kind of time period in their history, the very first one who was uh, Othniel, was actually one of Caleb's nephews. Um, so, you know, God used his family um, further and further on through time um, due to the faith that was present um, in that, you know, in that family and in that area. Um, Caleb was able to take his own faith, teach his children, um, raise his, uh, be an inspiration for even his nephew um, and his brothers and sisters and uh, God used them in a mighty way. So this is important, um, not just that we have faith ourselves, but that we teach it and that we pass it on um, to those around us and our family and that we create a cycle, um, a legacy of faith for those that come behind us as well. All right, so um, we'll see you tomorrow on Friday as we conclude the week. And um, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a good day.